chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again we will discuss the case of two trains meeting each other from opposite directions this is quite common case in these questions so let us suppose that this is one point p and this is another point q and one train is traveling from p towards this direction and a second train is traveling from q towards this direction the speed of this train can be taken as v meters per second and the speed of this train can be taken as u meters per second i am discussing the theory so we are taking variables v and u instead of some values because they can be taken when we are discussing the questions let us try to understand zero level basics of the things that go on in such cases we have to find out the time they take to meet each other and the length between the two stations the distance between the two stations can be denoted by l now let us see how we can find out at what time do they meet each 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 other we can easily see that when they will meet then the distance between the two trains the heads of the two trains will be zero so this is what you should appreciate this is what will happen this train will be at this position and the other train will be at this position their heads touching each other and the distance between the two stations is l so this is what we have to find out when they will meet and when they will meet at that point the heads of the two trains will touch each other the distance between the heads of the two trains will be zero initially the distance between the heads of the two trains is l because one train is standing at this position the second is at this position and the distance between the two stations is l now we have to find out the time they will take to meet each other in such types of questions usually the lengths of the trains themselves are not taken into account the lengths of the trains are not given in the questions we have to treat the two trains as two dot objects so basically if the distance between two points p and q is l and one dot starts to move from p towards the right and another dot starts to move from q towards the left at speeds v and u respectively then we have to find out when these two dots meet each other and where they meet so the lengths of the trains individually are not taken into account it is assumed that two dots are moving from one direction to the other direction if the problem is clear now i'll erase the board and draw the diagram neatly so that we can start discussing it this is p this is q one dot second dot the distance between these two stations is l this dot is traveling towards the right at v meters per second this dot is traveling towards the left at u meters per second now let us make a small observation in one second this dot moves towards this right side how much distance it moves v meters so we'll write v here and this dot has covered u meters so we will write add u we are adding u because the total distance traveled by both the dots is how much v plus u meters in 1 second this is the distance the two dots travel in 1 second v plus u meters when they will meet each other the total distance traveled by two of them together would be l because only then the two dots will meet each each other so 1 meter is covered in 1 by v plus u seconds and l meters will be covered in l divided by v plus u seconds so this is the time taken by the two trains 
to meet each other when they are coming from the opposite directions. We can write a more general formula the distance between stations divided by the relative speed of the two trains. The relative speed is the sum of the two speeds because they are traveling in the opposite directions. So this is the formula. I revise it, I repeat it. The crucial point was this. We calculated how much distance is traveled by this plot in one second it travels one V meters towards the right side. Similarly this one travels U meters towards the left side. The total distance covered is V plus U in one second. One meter will be covered in 1 by V plus U and L will be collapsed in L by V plus U. So this is the time they take to meet each other. Next thing is at what distance from P do they meet? Now suppose they meet somewhere here at a point X in between. We need to know this distance. For this, since we already know the time taken is this one and the speed of this dot is known to be V. So the distance covered by this V meters by this dot during this time will be our answer. So the distance will be this time L by V plus U multiplied by the speed of the dot that is moving. So they are going to meet at LV divided by U plus V meters from the point P. And in case we want to know where they will meet from point Q, in that case the speed will be taken as U instead of V. So in that case the answer is going to be LU divided by U plus V meters. So this is the simple thinking that will help us solve these types of questions. Some people say that this formula should be remembered. It is okay if you can remember the formulas but my sincere suggestion is that you should remember the concept rather. If you know the concept you will be able to solve many variations of these questions. So instead of remembering or mugging up the formulas you should think of understanding the concept and then possibly deriving the formula just in time. At least I have found that very practical. Your concepts should be clear. If the concepts are clear, really believe me, you won't fail. Now this lecture I had already given in Hindi in one of the videos. Now I have given it in English. The solved examples are there in the videos but I will still produce one more video after this that will contain solved examples which will help us understand these concepts where two trains are running towards each other and various variations are to be found out. Okay, thank you. Chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point. For DVD, pen drive, please write an email to me. These videos, they do not require internet, they play offline, there is no problem of buffering. And please subscribe to my channel for regular updates. Thank you. Thank you for your support once again.